Education tonight approved additional budget cuts for the upcoming school year, which don't include a loss of programs or staff. Channel 3's Ryan Baker joins us now to explain how the board was able to pull that off. Ryan. Jerry, I think they got a shot in the arm tonight, but mm -hmm. not necessarily the cure they were looking for over the long term. The Monticello Board of Education didn't exactly work some magic to avoid making the $500,000 in cuts they thought they would be making after a second tax re referendum failed uh, in February. But they were somewhat amazed at the effort put forth by the community and faculty, which helped hold off severe budget cutting measures. The $174,000 in additional budget cuts approved by the Monticello Board of Education tonight are a far cry from the amount they expected to slash. They were able to do that after the unexpected but effective actions of the community and district staff in the past month. 13 teachers and support staff agreed to early retirements. This trimmed the number of staff dismissals from 8 to 18. The faculty and staff also consented to two key salary concessions. They will only get half of their scheduled 5.5% salary increase, and teachers will keep their current contract for the next two years. The board also cited the work of the Concerned Citizens for Quality Education and their promise to raise $200,000 by August. Sports and after-school activities will remain, but students are going to have to pick up the majority of the tab to help pay for them. Every child in the district will in some way be impacted by the cuts we make. The bad news is that we will be making substantial cuts. The good news is that the cuts will be somewhat less than originally proposed. Although this is the first good news to come from the Monticello School District in quite a while, things are not fine and dandy. Budget cuts over the past three years total $1.5 million, and board members say more are sure to come unless a tax referendum is passed next fall. It's a short-term victory. Um, we have to get real busy now. We have to raise $200,000 that we promised, and we have to help pass the referendum. The board plans to meet with community members and faculty this Sunday to begin formulating plans to pass a tax referendum next fall. So all extracurricular activities in Monticello are in? Yes, sports are in, uh, after school programs are in. They're going to be